and raped your daughter. We will not advise you to keep the baby. Don't argue with me. If it is your own daughter, make your choice. Keep the baby. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm trying to say? You know, when it happens to someone else, you can talk about, about righteousness and about heaven. <laughs> so I will not offend God. When it's your daughter, keep the, the baby of the man that raped your child. But if you seek counsel and you pray about it and God tells you, keep this child, it is faith to keep the child. It is faith to keep the child. It is righteous. Anything that is not revealed, sir, is not, it adds to the salvation of your soul. That is important. So, I, I don't know the languages. Whether it is toilet they are flushing or it is womb they are evacuating. I don't know. But, but you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. This must be understood yeah. like that. And simply, so if in your dream, if somebody wake you and ask you, you will give right counsel. Yeah. You know, some of these things, we don't know how to ma have gain mastery of natural affairs so that we can keep our company safe. It's a learning. It's a learning. So you have to enroll in this thing as an apprentice. And be learning judgment and learning judgment. What does the lawyer learn? Why is it that the day he comes out of the out of law school, they don't make him a judge? He needs to learn as an apprentice over time and witness several issues to sit in that seat as a judge. So let us learn this thing like an apprentice. Then we can give counsel and dish it out. And before heaven, you will be have done righteousness. Yeah. That's what I will have to add. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you. Let me, let me just uh, okay. say this. Uh, you see, when, when, when push comes to shove, sometimes we, 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 we lose stability spiritually. All the learnings we have received, they fly out. Yeah. Do you see that these three questions are the same? Yeah. I will tell you, righteousness is the underlying factor. Yeah. So, you see, righteousness is showing forth in different yeah. faces. Yeah. And what God is after is, is righteousness being kept yeah. in the faces. We are talking about righteousness unto righteousness, obedience unto faith, ungodly act, teaching godliness. But now when it comes down to this terrain, uh -huh, we begin to wonder, like wandering stars, yeah. that we become ungodly yeah. in that state. So, I think the training for us is to learn righteousness and master righteousness by revelation. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now let me say this. God does not, now, you said we should be careful. Now, God does not feel things the way you feel them. Yeah. But God feels what you feel. Yeah. But he doesn't feel it in the way you feel them. Yeah. Is that okay? Now, our major problem is sin. Sin is the major problem of man. Sin is that which creates an alternative to God's prescription. It is the will of God. It is the desire of God to send as many children as possible to the earth. Even all of us sitting down here, I'm not too sure God is happy with us. Because we have limited it. Three, two, two, three. And God wants to send many more. Because he knows that if he sends them into this kind of a garden, he has hope. He has hope. He said, for I know that Abraham will teach his household after him to fear the Lord. So if God sees a man that fears the Lord, God likes to send many people there. And that's why people will not sit in this house, for instance. That's why God will keep sending many more people to pastor's house, for instance. Not necessarily biologically only. Because he knows that he has got a garden, a paradise where they can be helped. So, that's why I said God does not feel things the way we feel them. Sin makes us create an alternative. You see, it doesn't matter. If a mad woman sleeps with another mad woman, a child results, and God is happy. Another mad man. Another mad woman sees two mad people, male and female, come together. God and the resource into pregnancy. God is glad that a child is being sent to the earth. But we will look at it from various perspectives and we wonder, ah, how will they take care of them? How will you do this? That is our own feeling. But God always likes to search at the heritage of the Lord. And the fruit of the womb is his reward, not your reward. 
Now, another thing is this, that is a result of sin, is shame. You see, God has to paint shame to us so that we see the truth. Because in my own case, for instance, the second child came one year, six months after the first child. And I was wondering, like, what is this? There is shame. People have been talking. They are saying, ah, ah, did you marry your wife for children making? <laughs> you gave birth to three children in three years. Ah, ah, what is this woman? She, can, can you you, are, you bent, both went to the same school. You studied the same course. You are going on with your career. She's just at home. Just giving birth to children. Before this, this one is not even up to two years now. Another one is come. In fact, it got to a point I was feeling ashamed to go to convention. <laughs> because she was pregnant again. When people have said, but you know one thing is this. I don't think the, no, I, we didn't plan for it. Imagine Kaniela if Kaliana was not. No. We didn't plan for her, not Kaniela. <laughs> now, in our go to a point, I have to receive strength in my heart. It was not easy. I had to receive strength in my I had and to pass the same to my two years eh, or three, three years, three many years, three eh, so that this one can take care of this one. Who said that? So that they will not enter university at the same time. And one will be studying medicine, one will be studying optometry, the other will be studying law. And you know, disguise yourself. Let them know you are the first lady. Go there and tell the prophet that we have a child with six up. Can you pray? What will happen as they were leaving? As she was leaving the house, God was telling the prophet, Jeroboam's wife is coming under disguise. So, as the woman was at the gate, the prophet said, Jeroboam's wife, come in. I've been waiting for you. I have heavy tidings for you. The woman came and said, don't worry. I know what. Don't bother. You see that child you are coming to talk to me about? That's the only one that God has seen righteous in, his, in your lineage. Yeah, he will die normally. And he would die. That child will die. <laughs> now, he, for, he said, he's the only one I see as righteous, but he will die. As, as soon as you get back, as you are set, setting back to your home like this, the child will be dying. Because it is only in him that God has seen something good. So if God has seen something good in him, should he now die? Shouldn't God keep him? And God said, I will now kill everyone that peace against the world. That's the metaphorical expression for male in Israel. And we kill all of them in the lineage of Jeroboam. But this one will die. He will not recover from that sickness. Is that not righteousness to God? But when you look at us, is it righteousness? Or look at the case of David, Bathsheba, Urias, and all of that. The child that resulted, God said, this one will die. Oh. Was it the fault of that child? And David was fasting and praying. You know David, know how to get God like Moses will intercede and God will change his mind. God said, tell him I've traveled. Anything is praying. Let it be coming to a angel. Please take charge. You know you don't have mercy. Me, I can feel. I'm going on journey. And all that season, God said, if you like, cry. This child will die. And the child died. And David said, say, hey, the child has not died. He couldn't eat. If you're not telling the child has died, what will he do? He will kill himself. He said, what are you whispering? What is the child dead? He said, I better give me fried rice and enjoy my weapon a body. Uh, 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 I can't come and go and die. God said he will die. I pray. I fast. Now look at that. That's another level of righteousness. And the people of David, is this man crazy? Look at that. So what am I saying in essence? Now God now said, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I will give you another one. Eh? I will give you another one. You see that one I will give you. The same God that told him, if you have wanted many women, I will have given you. This thing you have done, sword will not depart from your house. You did it in secret. I will, for your wife, it will be in the open. The same God said, don't worry, David. Eh? I will give you a son. In fact, I will give him a name by myself. Jedidiah. I love him already before he was born. I love, be loved of the Lord. You see what I will do to that child? What, where is righteousness? You now know that righteousness is not from your perspective. So we are not even talking of flushing. Now, all what I've been said is okay. Flushing. What we should seek for is God's righteousness in every matter. Today it may appear like this. Tomorrow it may appear in another form. It could be you are the boss in the office, for instance. They are you are given five slots to bring in people into an office or into a position by right based on your position, and you have sent the five names to the ogapata. 
is still in the office. You sent it on Saturday. It will come and work on it on Monday. On Sunday, somebody called you. Your person you cannot deny. Now, my son, you are now left the choice of they have not worked on it. You can quickly go on Monday morning before a guy comes to change the names. To remove the names. Now, what will you do? Will you remove the one name and put down that one that you have known? So, we can begin to look at it from this part up. We look at it from the God's perspective down. Like you said, seek counsel in every situation. We pray. God has put job in. That was saying on Wednesday. Can you judge among yourself knowing that you judge angels? So we should be able to sit down in the counsel of God's people to say, we have by counsel, without God expressly speaking, we have it in scripture. Paul said, and we were able to gather. Act 17. We were able to gather that God will have us go to Macedonia. God didn't say go to Macedonia, but he sat with other company. They looked at it. They weighed the matter with judgment. Urim and Tumim. And they came forth to say that God would have us go to Macedonia. That was God speaking. So when we have matters like this, we sit down with elders who have judgment. And then they look into the mind of God. They know God will reveal what is to be done. Once it is revealed, it doesn't matter what man feels about it. It becomes God's own righteousness. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Daddy? Praise the Lord. Thank you very much for the supplies. Very, very resourceful. Because uh, we have handled something like this before. And... Um, Um, oh, oh, there's no way we're going to issues will always come keep coming um, that's why I love that part where uh, we talk about cancer it's very 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 important apparently that question was raised I said it's just linked to the f first two questions and it's, it's in the in Psalm 1 blessed to see that uh, Walk okay, not in the you know the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way. If you do not have the right walk, you have a you have a wrong walk stand. So this is positioning, but you need to have a right walk. So you need to know that sometimes in every matter you need counsel, uh, either from God to you directly, or from men that you whose judgment you trust. In some matters you, you talk to God about it. And uh, you are not too sure of what is right. You look for people that will know that you, it's, they are not religious in their mindset, like we're talking about. Who will not just use religious factors to? Uh, they're not cultural, because in God's judgment, He doesn't use culture to judge. He judges in righteousness, and uh, it's only one who knows what is right. So it's when we consult and look into His ways that we find out what is right uh, in them. So if we're able to do that, then. You can, you can, you can judge righteously, and that that is important for all us in every matter, no matter how afraid you are of the matter. So, like, I, I, like, look at that question. It's, it may not be as simple as uh, uh, my brother or my sister. Sometimes people are under financial prayer, and uh, they are just struggling to even feed themselves, feed themselves, and uh, they, they, I don't even think about do we even have first two years free. Before we have a child, they're still afraid of having a, having a child. They had faith to get married. And like getting married, they, they don't have the faith to have a child. In the midst of that one, first child came. They cried and cried and cried, accepted it. But they, before they wiped their tears, the second one came. <laughs> so it's like, uh, God, do you, want to kill, do you want to kill us here? What exactly? So there are situations that come that's not as. If anybody who's looking from outside does not know they're weeping. You can't see their tears. You are not part of this. Of this. You only meet the pictures that the posters to see. They are in eternal life and they are hearing this word of life. The word of life does not exempt them from, from, from prayers of the, of the earth. It does not. You're going to face them like others face them. But it's knowing what to do there that makes a difference. So I'm trying to say that things are not simply seen as the way they really are. Uh, but in any matter, if you get to the right people, they can strengthen your heart, give you you know, faith to stand, to believe that God can can take you through. If you have been in the right company before, maybe you have answers to, of answers to questions, you know, here and there, it will also prepare your heart for such things. So when it comes, you are not too devastated. 
Um, let me also say that on the part of flushing and the abortion, it's a, it's a, it's a the, uh, professional language that doctors use to make it look like light. Say so you, are, you are pregnant, a month you're pregnant, just, just flush it. But to them, removing a, a month pregnancy, pregnancy is not really a but to them. You just put the, pre, the, put the pregnancy under prayer, it will dislocate it will, it, yeah, it will, it will, it will dislocate from the from the, the place where it, where it was implanted. Uh-huh. So that is uh, that. But like I have said, either you flush or you or you abort really, uh, it doesn't make a difference. It's that your life is it's gone. Uh, but I, I want us to note the instances raised that sometimes uh, people and churches uh, put a strict jacket on. Which goes beyond the husband and wife who are legally married, who can have a child, they should believe that children are of the Lord. Mm, I strongly believe that. I can remember of you, like PJ is talking about, I'm still expecting a child from PJ. Because, uh, because uh, God has blessed God has blessed you so much that the blessing should not be kept down like that one. If there's anybody I should demand for from in this house. If, if there's if there anybody that should demand for fall from, it should be you that should, that should demand from. <laughs> so I, I'm just trying to say that a uh, uh, lot of things affect our mindset today. The way we think about having children, the modern world we live in, and all of that. Uh, since raising children as, uh, as if... Uh, Having your own four children should not be a prayer on the on the world population. It should not be a prayer if if yes. It's not your own that it's not your own that will put prayer. Okay. It's under already under prayer. Those who who can marry four wives and have three children, four children, and already have fifteen children to a man, they're the one we're talking about. So and I don't put a prayer on the earth. Not you that is having three, having four, all of that. Even having five sometimes. If you have grace and capacity for it, and uh, so all of that, we need to readjust our mindset. Ask an average single today, how many children you want to have? Ah, one or two, one or two. You can just be boy, boy and girl, boy and girl. So for such mindset, when any child comes, because the mindset is already against righteousness. Look at many of the of the brethren. In Lagos, who wouldn't even live in a place like Lekki? All of that. They have major affluence. To have child is a, is, is a problem to them. Because a system has so they lie. So every child that comes is like a mistake. You are, not, you are never ready. You are never ready. Where, where has a 16 year old child who is, uh, who is in Bono? Already had two. Because, and he's ready for it. He's happy for it. And it's not that he's richer than you. But the mindset has been developed. So I feel that that mindset needs to be crumbled by the gospel. The gospel of Christ is not a gospel that recommends one child, two child. You can't see the Bible. You can't see the Bible. You can't see the apostle taught around that. Yeah, so, that's one thing that I, I feel that should be tempered with. So that, uh, this area of uh, I'm having a child, uh, I'm, that if we have the right uh, exposed, uh, exposed to, to knowledge, we will not the fear will not be there. Your fears fears come by reason of a mindset. The way you think uh, gives uh, yes, give environment. If you are in a place where people everybody is having five, seven children, if you have five, you fear I, I just have only five children because all in your lineage is seven eight. In the traditional uh, uh, do delta, we robo woman. One robo woman will have nine children. So when you have five in that place, it's like ah. Uh, what was wrong? Just few children. <laughs> just few children. So, your environment determines that. And I just feel you have to create an healthy environment. I don't like people just trying to flaunt civilization with. Uh, I just, you know, they, they just flaunt foolishness in our civilization. Just like just two children like that. As if you are civilized. No, you are stupid. It's not civilized. You are stupid. Because, yes, yeah, it, it, it looks as if it's the, it's, the way, it's the way of thinking now. And I say, what is in vogue? What's, it, what, what's in vogue? Uh-huh. Uh, it's trend. It, uh, I feel that's, a, that's how it, it, the trend came to them in West. Yes. When they start having one. Yes. The trend came to them in West. 
They feel that they don't, have, they don't need a child. It's, it's trendy and they're in trouble today. In Spain, all of the rest of their age, aged ones are dying away and they don't have, they don't have many young people. So when, when the time want to try our, our civilization, they will know we are really fools. And so, uh, I want us to know that that is one thing I feel we should help ourselves with and help our communities with. Don't let us create a mind of, uh, I tell you, if you cannot take care of, uh, if you cannot send uh, two children to school, you cannot send three to school. One more child may not create for you so much prayer. At the end of the day, you're going to have two children. You may have to, come may have to send two children to sponsor. And you know that it's this God who sent this one to my life. You can't push them away. So what you are running from by yourself, so it is, it is still on, uh, on, on belief. That is the root of many of these things. Uh, it's fair and unbelief. That is it. There. If, when you come into faith life, you don't know that even when you have two, God can add two to it. And when you have one, God can add two to it. And because you know God can add to it, look at the recommendation you have in the Bible. Have, have they raised children? Who are widows and have they raised children? They say, they say they are children. Have they raised children? So it means in their days it is joy and recommendation for every woman to have raised children. They must have most children to your house that you raise. So in such community, you won't find that teaching. It was not part of discussion. There was no challenge at any time that led the apostles to write about it. It was not a challenge. It, it was normal. It was not challenge in their times. The mother of Jesus had like six or six or so after Jesus. Uh, uh, like that. And I had the seven. All of that. So I feel that uh, we should uh, uh, help ourselves in that area. Okay? Um, for those who are just married in our, in our midst, it's true that uh, economy is not whatever they We plan towards our economy. We pray towards it. They also don't know that uh, children comes with their own uh, economy. And ch every child that comes on the earth, yeah, God send the economy of that child with it. Yes. Yes. When you, you throw 10 seeds to this, to this place, they will take their moisture. As long as they, as they land, they have their economy to take moisture and to grow. And so, um, don't be afraid. Pastor uh, Chegun. Maybe. <laughs> okay, don't be afraid. Uh, the one God has done is not your strength that did it. I understand planning, I understand praying. I only say that we also need to think higher thinking so we can align with what God is saying so that uh, uh, things can be easier for us. Amen. Amen. Uh, let me also say that. Uh, um, I was thinking about something just now. Praise the Lord. Yes. Now, for, 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 for that is in case of having problem with financial challenges, having problem with uh, health issues, uh, health issues, very, very vital that uh, the health of the mother is important. In some places, they put women's health in jeopardy with what they call, what they call fate. Let's understand that when you say you have faith, it means that God spoke to you about it. Yes. It's not presumption. Yes. It's not assumption. Yes. That's why you need to talk to God about the matter. Yes. Let God talk back to you. Yes. So that you can have faith to hold on to. Now when a woman's health is not good enough and he has to do with preg being pregnant, but you won't wait till he's still live months pregnant for months pregnant. Once you know that they know there's trouble already. So you know that our health is not good enough. You need to quickly seek counsel from doctors, from God, here and there and there to How can you manage this one? Pray about it and see if God will give you enough energy to go on through. Because it could be very, the voyage can be very, very dangerous. It can be with a with lot of damage. Most Many women have lost their life in that beat. And the man will have another wife. The same church system that they, uh, that they encourage you who also encourage the man to marry another, another, another one. Okay, so I feel that women's life should not be exposed to such jeopardy. 
they should have a right counsel. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We have handled cases of uh, other pregnancies before. That are outside the issue of marriage. We have handled that before. In any matter, matter where a pregnancy arises, it needs counsel. It needs, uh, we need to develop uh, and uh, people feel sometimes they feel that like, oh no people uh, they don't like people just allow anything around them they don't know the restriction that they will allow us to take responsibility of, on, on a matter and say it doesn't have to go this way uh, somebody sometimes will learn us by reason of uh, did this matter this happened this is what they did they would also play that same ball game into our midst to, to and no we don't handle every matter the same way all the time So if you are kind of like you are, but they, but they did that one for that person. Why not do it for this person? No, no. There are a lot of other things we have seen there that you are not seeing. So every issue of life is based on their own peculiarity. That's why you only see any issue that God handled the Bible that handled the same way. You hardly see. Jesus hardly do any, any miracle the same way. Telling you the ways of God I pass finding out. So mama must, 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 must have to finding it out to find out how to please God. I feel that that is important in all that we do. The Lord will help us. And the Lord will help us to, to be able to take seat. You know, when you can sit in judgment. Uh, we have, you, can, you, have, you, can, you, have, you have over time learned to escape wrong counsel. Yes. When you learn righteousness, you can say it's, it's important. You learn righteousness. But what, what go against our righteousness is cancels. It's just place to you today, you want to take action. It put the on you on cancer. Once you can be passing on cancer, boy, you are learning righteousness. But once you don't, you don't care about, you don't care about the things you do. You just do them in your own way, just go out and you say you are learning righteousness. You are learning, you are learning theory. You are learning theory. It's not being transferred to your, to your life, to your yeah, hey, everyday life. And that's what will give you experience in judgment later on. Yes. After some 10 years, just come to a point, you can, you, can, you can get mastery. And God can say, on this matter, what will you say about it? Mm. On this matter, what will you say about it? Because God is, is trying to put the man on you know, to, say, to say the way you think. I say, you, you taught right. That way you have taught is right. That's the way we can grow. Thank you very much. Bad control. Yeah, for, for, for bad control, uh, there's nothing wrong with bad control anyway. And it is good that women, I, I believe we have said before, in the women's meeting, all of that, they must do enough, enough counseling to help women to quickly get involved, to know what to do in bad control so that they can space their children normally and all of that. So you don't fall into your own, our own experience, okay? <laughs> uh, it's possible today to say, okay, I don't want to have a child for the next two years, and there's no sin about it. God allow those things within our permission. We have a choice on them. And so the fact that somebody have a child after six, six months after pregnancy, in church, you won't be part of those of say, see, see, see your friend is pregnant. <laughs> Not but if you are, if you are childish. Yes. You know, they are churching like that one. Yeah. See your friend. <laughs> <laughs> you are in, uh, in somebody's godly, is learning godliness. Yeah. But you are master on godliness. <laughs> yes, you are master on godliness. And you are disqualifying yourself in another man's matter, which is not your issue. It doesn't, it doesn't concern you. <laughs> you know, Lord will help us, okay? So we, we can, we can uh, you know, encourage ourselves to know that, to know how to manage all those uh, issues of, of, uh, of uh, bad control. Like I've said, not withdraw type. Not, not withdraw. That's not bad. We draw is not bad, bad control. And for, 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 for couples who do that one, they have actually uh, signed, they have signed to have uh, as many as possible. And the Lord bless those children as they come. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. <laughs> wow. This is lovely. This is, this is lovely, interesting, and beautiful. We we'll bless our Father this morning for helping us. And we want to encourage our viewers at home in case your there are some areas you still want more light to be shared just send the questions through our online platform that will get to us and we'll look at them and we'll address them and then you can also encourage people to join to tune in to every last sunday of the month 
where we answer questions that come around and God uses these questions as a platform to speak to us, to bring forth his counsel. Much more beyond those questions that are written that we look at, God has his own mind which he wants to make known unto us. And we bless our Father this morning for being gracious to us. Can we just worship the Lord this morning and give him praise? Can we just thank him? Let's give God praise. Oh, we bless your name, our Father. We bless you. I want us to begin to appreciate our God for mercy, for divine counsel, for divine counsel that he has sent to us this morning. We appreciate you, our Father. We bless you. We bless you. Malia Pashike Paranata Sike Peliandrosh Tabarianata Egrush de Barake Pasisi Bigadata Aroshi Pebadananda Aropiti Palande Aroshi Pacata Egrita Brata Liam Brahman and the Ship Reke Polian de Dibaratusha Eribede Ketesi Brata Peliana Machia Eribede Bado Suproco Paliande Italiande, a greech to Brady and the Nene Brobelo Shika Prantali and the Gardiana Mata, a Ribedetta Severa Bedo, Shipri Atali and the Brabadi Danata, a Rushi Bregade Rebenoto Susopali and Amata. We give you thanks, we give you thanks for these words are not cheap. These counsels are not cheap. These answers are not cheap, oh God. So we are not taking them for granted. We know that you have you have blessed us. You have blessed us. So we are blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed, oh God, to have brought us to this point, oh God, of divine judgment. We appreciate you for blessing us. We appreciate you, Lord, for increasing us in your light, in your knowledge. Lord, we thank you. We thank you because your church is marching on and the gate of hell will not prevail against it. Thank you, Father, for raising statues of righteousness, of raising trees of righteousness, even for us in this day, in these days, oh God. We bless you, our Father. We bless you, our Father. We bless you, our Father. We bless you, our Father, for coming to us, oh God, over time, over time, over time. You have been consistent. You have been so consistent in your dealing with us. We are grateful, our Father, for coming to us with light upon light, a little here, a little there, a little here, a little there, until statues have been formed, until pillars have been formed. Thank you, Father. We bless bless your name this morning we appreciate you this morning we bless you our father i give adi shibali and they brought to barata a greek da bella brush the brandy menengo to zubarata a ribidi balata a ribidi bidi barata and bro public and a rita barriada bash the baro to nandeda a shibata lady vata a rosy valley ananda a even and the shishibata a ribbon and the barata zividi de balan commit ourselves to God today the Lord you will help us to continue in obedience Amen. we will love obedience we will fall in love with obedience even in this season the demand of God upon us in this time is clear the demand is so clear and the demand is that we must follow after obedience we must follow after obedience we must follow after obedience until we come into righteousness and all further on come into further sanctification we want to obey unto sanctification we want to obey until we are separated until we are separated until we are separated we will marry obedience we will love obedience we will marry obedience our heart will love to seek for obedience we will seek to obey 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 an obedient man is a man that loves to see the righteousness of God. is a man that loves to seek the way, the right way it should be done. The right way it should be done. Oh, he's always looking for the right way. 
the righteous way is not satisfied in himself he's not he, 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 he's not he's not contented with his own wisdom with his own counsel he's always seeking he's always looking he's always inquiring for the right way for the right way for every matter to be done and Lord we are asking we are trusting you oh God the Lord we will love obedience we will love rightness our soul will love rightness we will love to do it right to say it right to act right to walk right to live right Revenendo shivara keto varamananda to answer right kasuvareka memerushi develelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelel
In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In verse 3, he said, Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Oh, let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon the earth. He said, let the people praise thee, O oh God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield an increase. And God, even our own God, shall bless us. He said, God shall bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Yebereto subranena anti jivili vana mana 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 embru bribre ne 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 Oh, let the nations be glad. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For thou shalt judge the people righteously, 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 and govern the nations upon the earth. Manina mantu shetele vedeto ebra vedeto. Oh, the earth will burst into singing again. The earth will burst into gladness again. The earth will break forth into singing again. Yeah, even in this season and time, even in this season and time, the earth will break forth into joy, into gladness, into joy, into gladness. Yeah, because your righteousness will be revealed even in the nation. Even your righteousness will be revealed among the nation. Your judgment, your government, your government, your government will be seen even upon the face of the earth. Even once again, the nations will shout for joy. The earth will yield an increase. The earth will yield an increase. The earth will yield an increase. Nothing is going to stop it. 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 The agenda of Satan will not stop it. The agenda of the evil ones will not stop it. For yea, you govern. You will govern the earth. You govern the earth in righteousness. I will bring praise I will bring praise. No weapon from the gates that shall remain. I will rejoice. I will declare God is a victory and easy. All of my life, in every season, you are still God. I have a reason to sing. I have a reason to worship. Oh, yeah. All of my life, in every season, you are still God. I have a reason to sing. I have a reason to I will bring praise, I will bring praise, I will bring praise, no weapon from the gates me shall remain, I will rejoice, I will declare, God is my victory and he did. all of my life in every season. You are still God. I have a reason to sing. I have a reason to worship. Oh, yeah. All of my life, in every season, you are 
still got I have a reason to sing I have a reason to worship We're going to make our confession this morning Hallelujah Say thank you Jesus for the mercy We are found To come into your presence today I thank you for the program of salvation for all humanity which is coming into manifestation in this season I declare that I receive grace for obedience to the faith of God's elect and I become a servant of righteousness unto eternal life I declare that the present global pandemic is stopped. Peace and health is restored back to the nations of the earth. We declare that the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Therefore, no satanic agenda will prosper upon humanity every lie in Nigeria is exposed and the eyes of the people are open to see I declare that lie will be impossible to manage as fought in this nation I decree that the spirit of fear is taken away from the people of God and that no plague will come nigh our dwelling place in Jesus name Amen We are victorious Yes we are victorious Glory be to spirit and I just felt we should sing it. What the devil is afraid of is victory and we have the victory already. Hallelujah. Amen. As we all know our culture on every last Sunday these are the days where Satan is, is, is polluting the heart of men. People are not going to church on a day like this and some persons will decide to not even have anything to do with church so we are privileged if we can be part of church in this space and you know cynics they are going about saying that all your pastors using all your offering what are they doing with it now and it's becoming like um, it's harder for people to release the substance in their heart in their hands to even be able to help fellow men not to talk of giving to God you know so we are going to give our welfare offering this morning but before then i just like us to understand that if there is any time it will be impossible and more difficult to give is this time because it's about first of all surviving yourself it's about your 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 own survivor they will preach to you survive first safety first safety first so in our safety we must understand that the wiles of the enemy is to direct all our attention to ourselves. You know, we are at home sharing in you know, other Matthew 24. It's, it's so vivid of whatever is happening at this time. The scripture talks about all the things that will be happening. And Timothy said that men shall be lovers of themselves rather than lovers of God. So it will be more difficult to give right now. Because the, the, the earth situation is making it look like, ah, you better survive first fight for your life first but our life is in Christ uh, so let's subscribe to what will last so we're not going to stop giving our offering uh, it doesn't matter what anybody say we're not going to stop giving an offering 
we'll give our offering, we'll give everything we should give, because in that is our life, our real life kept, hallelujah. So we know that we normally give all the basic um, offerings in church, um, um, we, 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 we know our offerings of um, the outreaches and all that. Let's give it accordingly. Okay, we have the church um, um, account. Let's remit as much as we can our tithe, our offerings, normal offerings. Please, um, I know that the church account will also scroll on the screen for many of us who are watching via the screen. Um, let's remit whatever we want to give for those of us by reason of space we are not able to be here physically it can actually get into the account as you see it scroll on the um, um, screen do your transfer as you would want to and then let's also know that um, the normal uh, offering that we give will be collected later on but right now we're giving the welfare offering we're giving the welfare offering. So um, that will collect right away. And while we are doing while we are doing that, the people that are in their different homes, watching, screen, uh, streaming in the different places, let's remit our offerings to... Please take mine. Let's remit our offerings to the owners of the residences that we are meeting in their places. They will remit it to church. Okay? For those of us in the various centers in town, for some of our friends who are meeting the homes, remit the offering as we are saying it now. Drop your offering to in that place. The church will get it from the people who are in charge in the various homes. So as we do that, the Lord will continue to enlighten our heart in this season. The scourge will not come near our dwelling. No plague will come near our dwelling. Because that's what the word of the Lord has said. And for the nations of the earth, the Lord will heal and the Lord will bring to an end this whole pandemic in the name of Jesus. We are blessed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We've got to bless our Father. No matter what is going on today, our voice must ascend and worship Him. Amen. Amen. My Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is none like you. In all of my days, I want Let 
Sing your song 
I could never sing your song. Hallelujah. But the sacrifice on Calvary's tree remains my reason. Is the reason I can cry out today. I could sound a thousand voice It's not enough to sing your praise Mighty one, the great I am There is no one else like you You made the ocean deep and wide You made the sky so beautiful Only you can do these things there is no one else like you. Abba, Abba, Kabiesi. Only you can do these things. There is no one else like you. Abba, Abba, Kabiesi. the angels bow to you what the worthy is the lamb that was slain just for my sake lord you've done so good for me hallelujah to the lion hallelujah to the lamb mighty god i bow to you in adoration to your name Abba, Abba, Kabiesi Only you can do these things There is no one else Abba, Abba, Kabiesi only you can do these things. There is no one above Only you can do these things. There is no one. We thank you for the things you do. You unravel me with a melody. You surround me 
with a song of deliverance. These are the things you do from my enemy. <laughs> Still all my fears are gone. Let's sing it again. You unravel me. You unravel me. You do these things with a melody. Yeah. You surround me with a song. Of deliverance from my enemies till all my fears are gone. And now I can say I'm no longer slave to fear. Hallelujah! I am. Child of God, oh, I'm no longer slave to fear. Oh, I am my child of God from my mother's womb. <laughs> you have chosen me. I can say, love has called my name. Hallelujah! I've been born again into your family. Oh yeah, your blood flows through my vein. From my mother's womb, from my mother's womb, Oh yeah, you have chosen me, hallelujah, your love has called my name. Today I've been born again, yeah, into your family, oh your blood, through my veins. Let us sing our freedom. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, oh, 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 oh. Oh, 
could walk right through it. My feet are drowned in perfect love. Hey, you rescued me so I could stand and see I am a child of God. You split the sea. So I could walk right through it. My fears are dropped in perfect love. You have rescued me, rescued me so I could stand and sing. I am a child of God. I am a child. doesn't matter what we go through this, this season we can proclaim that we are your children the storms of the earth cannot take our feet because you keep us you keep us you keep us you call me out upon the waters the great unknown where feet may fail There I find you in the mystery In oceans deep My soul it will stand And I will call upon your name Keep my eyes above the way Sunrise, my soul will rest in your embrace, for I am yours. You are mine. Oh. Oh. Jesus, your grace abounds and deep. Best waters, your sovereign hand will be my guide. Where feet may fail and fear surrounds me, you've never.
Appreciate you, our Father. Glory and honor to you, Lord God Almighty. Glory and honor, glory and honor. Baba Baba, Libera de Balota Honda, Sembra de Maleske, Lambra da Balita, Sende Libre Hashka Mata, Dabo Banete Hesi Bale, Shakta Libra Handa Banima Rushki and Daba, Cabo Baba Babata, Suta Libra Handa Banima Rabalashke, Ambra Tali Baha, Low Wash. Thank you, Jesus, the Savior of the world, the Savior of all men. Thank you for what you are doing. For what you are doing. You know what the devil is doing, what you are doing. You are at work in our days. You are at work in our days. You are saving. You are saving the nations. You are saving the people. You are opening the nations. You are opening the iron gates, the bars of iron. Oh God, and you are liberating your people. You are liberating your children. Glory to you, Father. Kababa, Meresh Kiponte, Sidabali Apar. Bro, Nama, Nama, Santa Libra, Tashide. Kababa, Baba, 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 Elibra, Nama, Libra, Soto. 
Ele brada masoto. Ele brada masoto. Embra de balé de ba. A cute que se de balé a pane mas sandale. A cule beres que pede mar rosquia. A ta 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 ta. We bless you. Thank you, Father. We thank you. God's God's anami is marching through the land. The deliverance sees the song healing in the hands, everlasting joy, life forevermore. In this army, I have got a part. God's got a God's got a through the land, the labor sees the song, there's healing in the hand, everlasting joy, gladness in your heart, and in this army, you we give the glory to you our father for you are raising an army you are raising a great army over the nations of the earth thank you father there's no lockdown there's great great salvation thank you my father we appreciate you for what you are doing we are seeing what you are doing we choose not to put our heads with what the enemy is doing. You are the Lord over the earth. You are the owner of the heavens and the earth. It's your investment. You have a future for the world. You have a future for the people. For that very cause, you gave your son. You gave his life to bring nations to you. Lord, I want to appreciate you for the purposes you are working out. Glory and honor to you today. Thank for your children everywhere they are, all over the earth. Because you are keeping them. You are watching over them. And you are raising them. Glory and honor to you. At the end of all this season, you will take out the glory. Your name alone will be glorified. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Lika toka balike toka koli ka konde he he sen toki le akut he he talike balika tabre ka chumba melika tabre de boti ka buni ka anda dalodo ta grita grita grika du ka gaglundu ka dabre elebre de bre de bebe du bre de bre ba bom bom de bre diba mana huna ka he ke he suka ka de ke rie tabariba. Maleleshka at the grace, ready to create and deliver. 
Oh Father, we thank you. Ka pipa ti po pipa. I pali part si pali a part li part be part be part be part be part be part be part of what I am doing, said the Lord. For I am doing something. I am walking. I am walking. My walk is made manifest even among the heads in this season. Be part of that which I am doing. Be part of the forces I am raising. Yea, I am raising them in the furnace of affliction. I am raising them in the furnace of fire. Yea, I am raising them that they might march across even the land. They will march across the earth to establish my reign. To establish my righteousness. Even upon the earth. I say be part. I say be part. Even enlist in this army. Enlist yourself. Do not stay behind. Do not stay afar off. For yea, in this season, one army is marching across the earth. Is marching across the earth. Establishing my kingdom. Establishing my righteousness. Yea, Satan is not working. I walk more. I walk more. My work is more evident. It's more evident. It's more evident. It's more evident. It's more evident. And it is the working of my great salvation. It is the season of my great salvation. For many will watch themselves in this affliction. And they will be white as snow. They will watch their garment. They will watch their garment. They will watch their garment in this affliction. In this affliction. And yea, they will be as white as snow. They will wear white raiment. For they will march across to save many. They will march across to save many. Be part of it. Be part of it. Let your heart be committed to the cause of my salvation. Let your heart be committed to the cause of my salvation. And you will see good. And you will see good. And you will see good. And all things will work together for good. Even for you. Even for you. Because you love my agenda. Because you love my agenda. Because you love my working. Because you love my working. Because you love my working. But they that do not love my appearing will mourn. They will mourn. They will mourn. They will mourn. For as many that do not seek and love my appearing, they will mourn. They will mourn. Because yeah, in this season, joy abounds. Joy abounds in the camp of them that seeketh my appearing. My appearing. Yeah, you are in the season of my appearing. See the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a great time of purification. It's a time, it's a time that God is using to purify his, his people and to raise to himself great tools of service in this next uh, uh, this next phase of the of the earth. I want us to know that the earth is already morphing. The red the earth is that that season we've been talking about the earth is here with us the earth has morphed already and we're in a different uh, time we're actually in the last time this is actually when you hear the word the last time in the bible this is actually the last time it's going to be a great uh, time of delusion a great time of deception Great time of the more you look, the less you see. <laughs> ah, this is a time like never before. It's a great time of a mass deception, delusion over the whole universe. That billions will be swayed. But it's also a great time of salvation. Because the light of God's knowledge that it has been shining will come to the forefront. We come so bright. It will shine in the midst of darkness. And so I uh, welcome you to this great day of uh, performance of the works of God. You know, when God's, like, like when, when you see what's lying in the prophets, and Paul will say, and Peter will say, this is the, this is but the last day. This is about the, the third day, the third hour, as written by Prophet Joel. You know, it's it's great thing for a people to about just be in the light of that very hour. Why that which was written by Prophet Joy came to light. So, so it's coming to light in our days. Wow, 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 you know. So many things that have been lying in the scriptures are going to come to light in this day. Amen. Not in the day of your father, in your in this very your, your very days, in this your very eyes. Amen. Amen. 
So I welcome you today and thank you very much for listening all over the places. The church is marching on. Amen. The church is unstoppable. Amen. The church works in every, there's no season of the earth that the church goes on break. Because yes. our God never slumber nor sleep. It never is what it just said. My father walketh, either to I walk. The modality and the arrangement may, may, may differ, but the walk continue. That's why I believe today that the Lord, the power of the Lord, will reach you wherever you are, Amen. and will raise you upon your feet Amen. to stand in the Lord of your people Amen. in this day, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That you will not fall asleep, but you will stand strong. Amen. You will function on the face of the earth. Amen. You will not fear the affair. Amen. You will not fall, therefore. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. As the Lord passed through the nation of the earth and passed through Nigeria, the Lord God Almighty will raise the righteous. Amen. It's time for the righteous who has bold as lamb to stand strong. Mm. It's a time for fear and dread to visit the house of the wicked. Amen. We thank you, Father, for this time in our hearts. In the last check, Second Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians, chapter 2. Uh, chapter 2 and it's good to read this place okay it's just good to read this place at a time like this now we beseech you brethren by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him that ye be not so shaken in mind or be troubled Neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. That ye be not so shaken. The day of the Lord of Christ is not supposed to make us to shake us. It's meant to to fortify us. It's meant to strengthen us. It's the day. Where the unrighteous will be afraid. Is it not, is the day when the righteous will be bold? <laughs> it's not. You know, when, when you ha- hear about the events of the day, like we were, watched on documentary yesterday about uh, the, uh, the Antichrist, the, the, the issues on ground, the plight of the, of the old, old nation of the earth for the emergence of the one world government. All of that is just with us here. Okay? It's with us here. All of that is not even, it's not yet the, it's not yet the day. It's just moving towards the day. The day of the Lord is the day of victory. It's the day of power. It's the day of dominion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as we dovetail through the day, God is going to raise men that will make a difference. Hallelujah. So it's not nothing, uh, not Ebola, not uh, uh, SARS or COVID-19, nothing. It's enough to make you get you shaken. Okay? Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Even if you see somebody anywhere around you that, that, that seems to go down for it, it can't make us shaken. Mm. So we're not speaking because we, it's not around us. Uh, that For those who are, for nations who are battling with that this time, it's not that they are worse than us. No. I, I asked ask some some funny people on the on the on the on the air and the internet uh sex some sectarian people who says god is judging america <laughs> so he has not come close to us he has not come near us they said it not quite two days after they it has not been to gaza it has not been gaza everywhere they are sex are it's not there not just two days after they announced in gaza that two people have caught it <laughs> You want, to, you, want to, you want to prove how righteous you are? How holy you are? You can't, you can't America, in America, every nation is like the headquarters of the whole world. If, the, if, uh, if your nation is like America, everybody there will be done by now. How many planes uh, get to America every day from all nations of the earth? Why are you running from Arab nations to running to America? Why are they running down there? Why are they running from uh, Asia to America? Why are they running from Africa to America? So if America is in the state they are today, God is still with them. Yeah. God has helped them. Amen. Amen. As I, will go to, I know we're going to pray for Trump. I Trump going to pray for Trump before we go yet to deliver today. Amen. The Lord will strengthen Trump. Amen. It's an arm that the Lord has raised at this time. No matter how many, how many gatherings and conspiracies against him, they will fall. 
I said that will fall. Amen. No matter how many, how many people are gathered, how many nations are gathered, how many leaders. You know, there are leaders you don't know. Yes. You know, you know, yes. you don't know leaders of countries. Yes, Those who are leading the nation of the earth are not people you know. They are devilish people here and there. Yes. They want to make leaders of nations to to to, to crumble, to bow, yes. to be afraid and hand over their nations to them. Mm. They are principalities. They are men, men, men. That when you see them, they look. They, we are not going to. We are going to see them as men that are terrible. Mm. But the, the devil has wired their being yeah. to to carry the, out his agenda on the earth here, yeah. as they are assembled together against the nations of the earth, against Nigeria, against America, they will fall. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. we declare, Lord, you will uphold your servant, your son, Amen. your child, tr tr Donald Trump. You will uphold him, Amen. Lord. You uphold him. You uphold him. You uphold him. You will strengthen him. And in all his trials and conflicts, Lord, you hold him on. You hold him on with your power. Kabalahata, Banea no Shanda. Kelebarota, Hana Masia Poli, Rabalashke. Emroda Baloshke, Plena Masia Bali, Rabalashke. Dabelata, Handa Banima, Rabalashke. Breteshke Penima Ruta Siba. Lebarato, Honda Sia Banima, Rabalashke. Breda Babashan, Maliba, Rabalashke. A tobarata and the banima rabalashke. Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. We do not glory in the flesh, okay? We don't just glory because we are elderly. Because no, we don't glory by those things. We glory in the Lord. We glory in the Son of God. We glory in the salvation He has He has brought to humanity. Amen. So we that ye be not soon shaky. We are not going to be shaken. Are troubled Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Verse 3 says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. I said, There come a falling away first. There's a kind of falling away that will uh, allow the man of sin to be revealed. There has been falling away all through the church history. There has been people who fall away, who fall away. But they say, Particular falling away that will reveal the not the not the boy of sin, the man of sin, the son of perdition. Uh, it's a time who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he as God sits in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember, you know, that when I was with you, I told you these things. So you, you see that uh, all from the beginning, God's interest is to, is to make man to see him. That is the salvation of humanity. That is the only way that man can be saved, except we sight God, except we see God. That's why it's required that our heart be purified so that we can see God. Amen. It's this a separation, holiness that is required for us to see God. It's a must. When you see, see God is a spirit. So you can't really see God down, see God bodily. But there's a because there's God's visibility that He has made manifest in His Son, that the Son attained to, that made him the begotten Son. Amen. Amen. There's that visibility that God wants man to see. And that is what is in the temple. That's what is kept in the temple. That's the essence of the gospel. The gospel of salvation is to make God sin. But you see from the beginning of the church, the enemy has been fighting the church through the antichrist spirit to ensure that the church is deviated from completing their course in Christ so that they can have the right way to see God. He knows that seeing God is the salvation of humanity. Except God is seen, man will not be saved. So you can see that from the early church, the spirit of the Antichrist, his major job is to ensure that the faith of Christ is not completed. That's his job. That was how you, you come across the, the first breed of those that uh, John described in First John, he said they have been with us. 
but they couldn't continue with us. Can you see in the in the first John chapter two uh, verse eighteen, little children, it is the last time. <laughs> it is the last time. As you have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists. So so there is a there is a time when what came were many Antichrist. It's the last time. But when it comes to the real last time, it's not just going to do many antichrists. It's going to be, will be the appearance of the antichrist and the first prophet. So last time is always typified with the appearance of the antichrist. And the job of the antichrist is that to cause, cause men to go out. Actually, um, the major strength the first prayer we use majorly is the pull, large pull of the church. It's the last the large pull of the church. That's why you need, need the first prophets. If it's not first prophet, it can't capture church. Because the church, church is a is a is a is a house of prophet. It's a house where God gave birth. They are they are prophet children. So it will take only the voice of prophets for them to respond. Amen. So there has to be the first prophet that will go ahead and uh, you know enter the church with that spirit of antichrist that will cause those people who are not making progress, can you see, to go out, to go out because in their movement before they have been going out. They are not. They are not. They are not staying in the doctrine. They are not abiding in the doctrine. So you can also see yesterday we saw the man talking about he was talking about reconciliation and unity of the earth without doctrine. Yes. Their problem, the problem of the Antichrist is doctrine. It's doctrine of Christ, not doctrine of your church. Doctrine of Christ. That is his problem. So how the way to, to move people is to move people who do not have the doctrine of Christ. They are already out of the way. It will cause them to fall out. To align with the agenda of a falsehood of unity, which is not existing. That unity does not exist. It's a lie. To propel a new world agenda. To propel a new civilization. Uh, amen. That, that's why uh, as the church, as people have been saved today, God will have to restore them back to the doctrine of Christ. Amen. That's why God needs the pull of, his, of, of servants, leaders, who have the doctrine. They are the ones that will do the job of salvation in the days we are here. It's not just somebody who preach Jesus Christ, be born again. No. No. Just be born again will not be able to save men. And this we are in. Hallelujah. What did I say? Be born again will not be able to save men. Yeah. Because the Antichrist spirit is in the way. It's, in, it's inside. It's not outside. Can you see? They went out from us, but they were, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they only so they were they are inside, but they are not of us. It's not everybody in Christ, not everybody in the church, not everybody who preached Christ, not every church who sound Christ, not everybody who, who preached deliverance or healing or any kind of manifestation, not everyone that is in the way. If they have been of us, they would no doubt have continued. So that is so it is it is it is that doctrine that checks those who are part of us and who are not part of us. But they went out that they might be made manifest. So the last time is to make them manifest. <laughs> As we move through to today, the church of partition, you will see. The church is aligning with falsehood and lie. Because to start with, they have not been abiding. We're going to see where they are not abiding in. They are not staying in a course.
they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us so you can see where we read there that that is what he's talking about that amen, amen. Can, can you see that place in second Thessalonians? And that's why I remember you know that when I was with you, I told you these things. And now you know that what we hold that it might be revealed in his time. So, God decided that let this Eden program be seen. So, God is the one in charge of this time. It's not the devil. If it's in the devil's design, he doesn't want to be seen. He wants to be doing hidden work of destruction. Yes. Yeah. We're going to see that the large mass of oh, how many Christians are in, how many Christians are in the world? Oh, we are we are four billion. But it's a lie. They are just like two hundred thousand, five hundred thousand in <laughs> that are really there. <laughs> so he likes that. He likes that. He likes uh, for you to have the number and not really have the number. So it said, for the mystery of iniquity that already work. Only he who now let it will let. Until he be taken out of the way. Only one person, there's somebody who's managing it, who is managing iniquity. It can only be a man of sin that is managing iniquity. Who is doing the administration? I went in the house, please. He has been on on the earth for a long time. Never allowing the church to produce his sons. He doesn't want the church to raise his son. He doesn't want Christ to raise his sons. He knows he's the sons of God. He knows he's the sons that we put an end to his rule. So his agenda is let's stay inside and not allow the sons to emerge. So he's the one who he says is he lets. But he must be taken out of the way. So God is the one in charge of his taking out of the way. So that the wicked be revealed. So it's a time of making uh, the wicked to appear. Now we're not going to stay on that appearance of the wicked at this time. Amen. Praise God. Uh, we're going to look at our side and say that what God uh, wants us. Because like I said, he wants to sit in the temple of God. He doesn't want anyone to see God. He doesn't want the church to grow up to God. He wants to use that temple. He needs that temple. That's why physically speaking, he will take over uh, Israel, naturally speaking. Okay, and like we're, we're, we're hearing, if if anybody's not having a basis of the prophetic plan, it can't it can't ask, it can't it can't invade Israel. So he has something that looks like what will be released them to Israel to ensure, just like physically doing that to represent a spiritual reality that he will oppose God, and we want to see it in the temple of God, and the true temple of God is man. Amen. God's temple is not the temple of Jerusalem. It's not the churches. If they were not meeting churches, that's not stop anything at all. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. The power of God still flow through us, flow through believers here and there, and fill the nation of the earth here. Praise God. Amen. So it's interesting in man. He doesn't want, there's a part of man that he wants to, he doesn't want man to, he doesn't want God to invade the place. He doesn't want God to sit there. He wants to sit. There's a place in the heart of man that he wants to sit in. As long as he's there, he owns the man. He's deceived. So, he's deceived from the inside. So, you can have the basics of the faith. You can be born again. You can feel the Holy Ghost and have those basics. But if the seat, if the inner core of the heart is not invaded by God, Somebody else will sit there. He will deceive. I went in the house, please. That's why deception is moving from the realm of sin to unseen. It's moving, it's moving from the realm of the physical 
is moving to the realm of the mind. It's now it's leaving the realm of the mind to look at the realm of the heart of man. He's searching the heart of man. He wants to invade the heart for a long time. For now, he has taken over the mind of men. I think you know that. I went in the house, please. You already have souls in the head. It's called the number. They call it the number of a man. It's a man, number of a man, and a man's a man's soul actually is, uh, yeah, has the mind, has the will, they has the inner heart. I went the house, please. Now he has. For now, there are many as he has filled their mind, but he wants to fill the heart. <clears throat> Amen. He said, Commander Judas, why has Satan filled thy heart? It's not why has Satan filled thy mind. He has spent time with the mind. But for a long time, he couldn't get the heart. In the lake, God, the heart, there's nothing to do about it. Jesus gave him. He dipped, he dipped this up and gave him. And he went out. There's no way to help him. Why the heart has been filled. It's not easy to recover any man whose heart is filled. Amen. Man, man has a way of resisting the devil from the heart. Even if their mind is taken, they don't want their heart to be taken. You still see inside them, they say check. They still check in their heart. They don't want their heart to be taken. For the man of, man of sin, his job is to ensure that the heart is taken. Why has Satan filled thy heart? Because I and then somebody also, he said that. It was the heart. It was not just mine. It was the heart. When God said, God said to, to Cain, Sin is at thy door. Sin light at thy door. Now, sin was in his mind. But the, it was it still has strength in the heart. So the sin stood at the heart, knocking. He went in to open the heart. He can explain sin for you. You understand the principle of sin. But he does not yet have what it takes for him to yield completely. The, the day we are in is the day when the devil wants to ensure for people who over the time have not have been resisting moving to the finishing of salvation who resist it. Keep on resisting it with every attempt of God to reconcile them to walk through the way to shun the way of gain, to shun the error of Balaam, to shun the wages of sin, all of that, every attempt to, ch to check all of that, that resist that. Now, he will give them over so that the man who is knocking on the door can take over. So that the man of sin can be fully sane. Because the last agenda will be used by man of sin and men of God. To be men that sin has trained and has taken over and men that God has raised. That's why just preaching you back in the days of Aaron can't do the job. You need to have what it takes to assess the souls of men to, this, to, to make them to take a choice if they will go for God or they will go against God. I went in the house this. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Now, now so you can see uh, in verse 10 uh, with and, you know, first, say, and him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and sign and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of a righteousness in them that perish that they receive not the love that's where I'm going this morning because there for only one reason they, re they, re they, re they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. <laughs> oh, 
Now, look at it. God is a, is a, is a building of truth. God is, a, that's why when Jesus appeared, the only way to describe him is that he's full of grace and truth. Jesus is a building. Is a man that was raised and became a building of truth. He became a building that truth of truth that grace that grace raised. Yes, that's why it's full of grace and truth. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. The essence of doctrine, doctrine is meant to teach us truth. The teaching of truth is what is called doctrine. When, when doctrine is taught, is to deliver truth. That is why there has to be preparation. For a man to be able to receive doctrine. Who shall he teach doctrine? Who shall he make to understand doctrine? Who shall he, who shall he teach knowledge? Then who shall he make to understand doctrine? It's a time of understanding because they want to be able to deck that man with truth. If you are born again, you have not been decked with truth. You have just been called to truth. That's why he will that all men be saved. And that all men will come to the knowledge of truth. All men be saved. So God's job, what God wants to do is to deck man with truth. So that there will be no place remaining for this wicked man to use to deceive. He can deceive a man who has made journey with God. Once he has space. Is to allure, 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 and wicked the man's defense until he buys into his beckoning and call. So the only way for man to be saved from his deception, you're going to be amazed that he's going to. You amazingly, the the is the man of sin. It's not going to. It's not going. It's not coming to. It's not coming to young children. He will use the leaders to reach the children. Yeah, we use them because every every person believe in a leader. From childhood, you are connected to a leader. From your father, from your house to your father, your father belongs to circles like that one. That's how he wired the head. Amen. If you find that there are fathers who protect the children, you can remove them so that you can have access to new leadership. In any way, it's going to use leadership. That's why. Uh, anybody who is in place of leadership at this time is in a very dangerous place. Is that you're in a dangerous place because your the destiny of the nations and the people of the earth is in you. You are the one the enemy will beckon to. You are the one he needs to. He needs you. He needed. He needed Cain to get entrance to the underworld of humanity. Yeah. So he has to. He has to stay there and open way and open way. Where is a reasoning path that can make. Cain, open the door. Time of reasoning, reasoning, reasoning until he can open the door because the door belongs to him. Sweet tongue, sweet mouth, strong ironing walls of seduction and often affairs is truth and is clear. The devil is afraid of truth. He is afraid of truth. That's why you say you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Amen. Amen. Oh, you're not the father. It's opening you to a curriculum of truth. You need you need to know like the truth. The truth is a person, it's God. But God is not God as compartment, God as 
God has, has places or what to call palaces. God has arrangements of truth. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. God has God is a building of truth. From level to level to level. So what you call the truth? The truth is God. So when you were asking what is truth? You're asking for what is difficult. Where do you start from? You have no more belief on the one who, who he has sent. You're asking to know the truth. Amen? For the truth is a person. How will the house please? So Jesus actually became the truth. Jesus just embodied that building. Yeah, he became the truth. I am the way, the truth. I am the truth and the life. No one can come to the Father but by me. I embody the truth. So it's a building of God. It's what God is a building that God raised. God spent time to raise Jesus to build him to show himself as the building of truth. That's why we subject him to all manner of tests and trials. He subjected him to after after Jordan, he was led of the spirit, not led of Satan, led of the spirit to the wilderness to be tempted. He was being subjected. What God was building, he sub, subject it to test. He brought him back again and schooled him again through truth, in the truth. He learned to obey, obey, obey. What does he obey? Truth. As he obeyed truth, he was becoming truth. As he was obeying truth, he was becoming truth. So truth is laid by obedience. The heart must obey truth. Obey truth to a point when you come into the love of truth. Love of truth is what is needed to secure the soul from every, as, uh, every space that they, they can use to deceive man. You know, if, if, if Jesus was deceived from reaching the cross, it's because there's still a domain in him that deception or lie can penetrate him. The things he could handle at Jordan, he handled this world and handled all of that. But when he, he came to another realm, that is, it's not, it was not, he was not dealing with the world. He was dealing with Satan himself. He was dealing with the, all the lies and the fibers of lie that Satan is made up of. Satan is a, is a weave of lie. He, 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 he corrupted his wisdom and became a building of lie. That's why he's a father of lie. He's a he's lie. If he says good morning, he's a liar. He's a liar by gene because every part of him is lie. <laughs> it's a building of lie. He corrupted everything he has from, from foot to the head. So when, when God will decide a time to make this manifest is that he doesn't want corruption to inherit life. So they have to make bare everything that is hid. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. So you are welcome to a season. Amen. Um, it's a great, great, great season. It's a great time. It's a great time. So see, see there, verse 11, and for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. So actually speaking, what have they been believing before? They have been believing lie before. That there's need for a lie. Yes. <laughs> there's, so they need to package a lie and sell it to them <laughs> that they all might be damned who believe not the truth. Now, if righteousness reveals truth, 
So when I say you are learning doctrine, doctrine is you are learning righteousness. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And it's meant to make truth revealed to us. So we become obedient to truth so that we will not be able to believe a lie. Even if they told you that lie over some time, you will recover from it. Yes, I'm not afraid of this time of uh, 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 this is uh, this uh, this uh, uh, thing. You see, there's a vaccine coming. I'm not afraid of all of that. 